Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. My name is Martin. Hopefully this will be an ongoing series of Kerbal Space Program and potentially other games that will that you get to watch me play. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a software engineer by schooling, but uh, I am going to be out of work in a couple weeks. My contract is about to run out. So either I'll find a new job and hopefully this will continue as normal or I'll have even more free time. Who knows? Uh, so Kerbal Space Program, I've been playing since probably early 2012, maybe even a little bit before that. Uh, I certainly remember before Persistence, and uh, boy has it ever gotten good since then. Really looking forward to the 0.17 update. As you can see, this is currently 0.16. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to the other planets. I've been practicing a little bit, um, but this is now a clean build of the game, no extras. Uh, although I do have my favorite mod in here, uh, yeah, it's that one, uh, the uh, mech jab. That's it. I often blank on words. Um, I love mech jab. Uh, you know, I played for a long time without any mods, but uh, the extra information that it gives you uh, is really worth it. And of course, it's nice that you know once you learn to play the game and be able to land on the moons and all the different orbital maneuvers you can do on your own. It's nice to have a little bit of help. You don't have to do all the routine stuff, I guess. So, uh, gonna head on in, uh, design a little spacecraft, but first I'm gonna quickly get out of here and see if all the recording and sound is okay. Be right back. So here we are inside the game. Let's head on into the vehicle assembly building and design ourselves a little... Oh, this is very new. Don't show the tutorial. Build ourselves a little uh, suborbital, let's say, single-person capsule. There's the the mech jab ones that get added in. I've never actually used them. Unmanned, though, that's kind of nice. Hopefully, that'll be in the default pack coming up. Right. So I'm assuming most people who are going to be watching this are going to be familiar with the game. So I'm not going to go too much into the various parts of it. Just a quick little simple. Suborbital space plane goodness, not space plane, rocket. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to put too much on it. It's a problem I've often had in the past when trying to design a suborbital spacecraft is that they often uh, end up being orbital. It's not a problem, I guess, but yeah. I have to set up all this again. There we are. Lock to the angles. What is that? Snap to angles. Oh, just a little boost to get off the ground. I went with the uh, aero spike engine. It's for one of the most efficient engines in the game. Probably the most efficient at sea level. As you can see, it's got a 250 thrust, which is great, uh, but it's the specific, Im specific impulses of 390, uh, independent of its altitude which is great. If you start off with one of the more standard engines, they're quite a lot lower specific impulse at uh, sea levels. They don't even get up to, what is it, 390? Yeah, 390. Yeah, so, really good engine. It also sucks back fuel, so you need to uh, be careful about that. Very clever title. Not gonna use mech jab or anything like that initially. Alright. Is this a thrust vectoring? No. Oh, we'll have to use the, uh, the only input then we'll be able to use is the, what are they called? It's kind of like, it's got a little mini SAS inside of it, using gyroscopes, that's it. Should be enough for this. Just realized, hey, it's Jeb too. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a bit. Just realized I want the aerospike engine to fire at the same time. Luckily, you can edit things on the fly here. I use the minimal SAS to try to keep our attitude. Though I don't think it actually does anything to try to keep you pointed up or anything like that. Anyway, let's just see how far we go. Whoa! Yeah, that's really loud, for one thing. So that 
it's really loud. Uh, let me just uh, turn that down. Whew. <laughs> and like I've seen other people do before, it crashes the game when you try to. Yeah, laugh away there, buddy. It crashes the game when you try to change some settings. Possibly, I don't know if it's while you're recording. I don't think, yeah, I've never had issues with that before while playing, but. So that flight is lost forever. Uh, so the sound should be a little lower. Boy, that was a lot of power. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. We'll do it again. Hmm. I got left behind. So we'll go full on. Full on arrow spike again. Hey, it's Bill. I wonder if Jebediah is considered out there still. Perhaps I should look into that. Hello? Don't see him. I don't think he would have been out of range yet. Hope he's not dead. Okay, here we go. Much less loud, that's good. Let's try to keep control attitude here. Go somewhere around 90 degrees. One thing about mech jab that I really like that I miss is uh, knowing the thrust to weight ratios and the mass of your whoa whoa mass of your craft. Okay. Oh jeez, I forgot to There's that. Forgot to change the order of the things again. The staging. So now we're out of full couple tanks for aerospike. I love that you can see how much fuel there is. Disable flows for individual tanks now. And like I'm sure a lot of people out there as well, I'd love to be able to disable specific engines, not jet engines, but hopefully that'll come in a future update. Maybe even a mod. One of the mods I should definitely look into is the AI. Good old fuel uh, flow bug fixer mod. See, some of the designs I have, you know, when you're landing here, You've got the throttle set so low, it's not really using nearly as much fuel as it probably should be. Alright, not even going to bother looking at the map. We're almost out of fuel anyway. Here we go. Woo! That had a lot more power than I thought. If I'd uh, flipped over earlier, it certainly would have been orbital. 15 minutes. Uh, by the time that spins around, what are we going to be on the land or further in the water? Let's have a look. Do -do -do -do. Bill is horrified by this experience, of course. He's not used to being weightless. This being his new first mission ever. There's an apoapsis. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna be on land then. Does it uh, almost look like I didn't have a parachute on there? No, nope, it's on. Incoming. Okay. Next uh, version 0.17. I think they said something about they're, they've got it so that you'll be able to warp in the atmosphere again, which would be great, because I missed the two times warp in the atmosphere. But uh, in the meantime, we're just stuck with one time, so good thing we're coming in at a fairly blistering pace. Now I'll eject this. I'm going to flip around here at some point. Cause these capsules have a low drag, which is another bug I hope they fix, compared to their other parts. So. If I were to keep it on, this thing would come in like a lawn dart, I guess. Alright, here's the G-forces. Ooh, that's possibly fatal. Yeah, I thought it was going to flip around. Maybe this capsule doesn't have the same as the three-person capsule issue. 
Well, that works out okay anyway. We can get rid of it. Some good wind there. It's starting to slow down. Get that parachute out for when we hit about 500 meters. Is that something on the land or is that just a little bug? No, nope, something on my screen, perhaps. <laughs> Gross. Well, Bill. Is that it's about halfway around the world? Nice work. Uh, it's my first video. I guess I should probably show him landing. I get kind of tired of waiting for this part. This is slow. Really wish we could warp. Maybe I'll speed up the video. And we're back, just about to land. Bill is much more stoic about this whole experience now. And there we are, we're down. Go out for the you know, stereotypical EVA. Whoa, get your balance there, buddy. The typical, you know, screenshot. There we are, first mission. Success. Thanks for watching, my name is Martin, and we should be back soon with a new video. We'll go for Orbital next time, and hopefully it'll be a little bit more exciting. Maybe even some mishaps, who knows? Thanks for watching. Some information. 11.3 Gs. Ooh.